and go to Rama. Hello, I'm Zarka and we're Me Some Pie and this is Greenlighters, our review series for games stuck in Steam Greenlight. And this week we're going to be taking a look at Airship Dragoon, Ooh. which is by uh, Yorkshire Rifles, uh, which is one man in his bedroom making indie games apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should move to his uh, front room or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? So I don't think the campaign is available on the demo here. Uh-huh. But, a um, single battle? Yeah, single battle, and it'll show you the, the meat of the game. Okay. Which, uh, You're going to be fighting with meat? <laughs> it's turn-based steampunk squad tactical combat and global strategy. Hang Emergent. on, what's that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a turn-based strategy game. Oh, right. You'll, you'll see what it is once you get in there, I think. Okay. So you're playing the British Royalists, that was, wasn't it? Was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and so before we go on the battlefield, you've got to choose your soldiers oh. who will fit into those grey slots on the right there. Right, so... And if you click on them, it will give you stats about uh -huh. each of them. And the different types of um, uh, soldier use different weapons, which you'll get oh, to right. in a minute. Okay. So but you want to look at, you know, accuracy, you know, it's all self-explanatory. Right. The sort of things that they can do. Well, I'll select. A lieutenant. Okay, what's his stats? Accuracy forty seven. Vision, obviously that's that will affect how far away they can shoot mm. and things like that. So I we'll have to pick a Yeah. If I I, I did two battles which I both lost horribly, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um I'll put them all in the middle just for this so that you can see where they all are. Okay. So how many have I got to it's pick? It's terrible. Battlefield tactics, obviously, to group everyone up, but... I don't know. I don't know anything <laughs> about that. Okay. So how many do I have to pick? Uh, it's as many as fit into those grey slots there. What grey slots? On oh, the right, here, yeah. On the you right. see, they'll, so they'll appear the there. under the slip for deployment right, yeah. thing. Okay. Well, I'll do what so, you So you highlight you said. the people and select them for de deployment. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, strength will determine how many... You know, weapons and things that, and stuff that they can carry. Mm -hmm. So if you've got any Phoebes, you're going to find out now. Okay, so click on the top one. It doesn't matter. What? The top one in your Sergeant team that you're taking. Major yep. Albert Cambridge. Okay, and you should uh, click on equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, now you can choose a weapon. <laughs> if you click on the left, yeah, over there. Actually, click in on the actual picture. No, uh... Oh, you haven't selected anyone. Oh, I <laughs> And then if you click class, at the top there, it will show you the kind of weapons that they normally use. You don't oh, right. have to use these. You could assign other ones, but... Uh, I'll just assign their okay. defaults, I think. Okay, so s click on one. Uh -huh. And then you want to put in ammunition underneath. You want to put in some ammo for that as well. So 303. Three, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, five bullets, enough. Oh. <laughs> Let's have our load. Okay. Okay. And At 40. If you've got more who are the same type of gun for him, uh, same type of, sorry, if you've got more who are the same type of soldier as that person, uh -huh. what is he, a marksman? I don't know. It says on the right to his name. Look at oh, yeah, the Look at the oh, details yeah, on the screen, yeah. Reading any of that. Oh, look, they've yeah. got names. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if you click all class, under the equipment on the left there, yeah. it will assign the same thing to everyone of the same class. Oh, that's good. So it speeds it up. And sometimes if they're really weak, they won't be able to carry it, so... Okay, so that okay, should be so okay. Okay, so everyone's all, all kitted up. Yeah, I reckon so. Okay, um, so we're ready to fight. Where's the deployment? This deployment, one? yeah. Commence battle. Ooh. Are you ready? It's turn-based, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm ready. Ooh. You're going to be instantly familiar with the kind of... Gameplay. That's your. What you've got to do is clear the area, and they're doing the same to you. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we find pirates. Um, if you hovered over it, it might have told you the faction there were. There's six different factions, oh, yeah. I believe, and they're all sort of um, based on the old imperial thing. What's it saying? Oh, booby trap deployment. Yes, you can place down your booby traps by moving them around, and yeah. So you want to place them ah, down. I see. Yeah. Let's deploy one there. Well, that's it then. Is that all you had? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back to your men. All right. Your bold men on the battlefield. Okay, then. Okay, so uh, as you can see on the left, it's got one out of ten. Those are your ten soldiers. Uh-huh. 
Okay, if you scroll uh, out with the mouse wheel, you'd be able to see your other ah. chaps. Okay, so you've got to get across the land and take out the enemy. That's all you've got to do. Okay. Um, you can select move or shoot, but move, obviously, because there's nothing to shoot at at the moment. And the bottom right. Ah, move. Okay. And then you left click on the terrain to move. Uh, you can reserve a shot. Yeah. If you click on that in the bottom, very bottom right, you can reserve action points oh, for see. shots. Do you see? And do you see the kind of thing it's like? I get like? it. I get it. It's uh, very, a, very much like XCOM. The <laughs> first <laughs> a bit. <laughs> first XCOM and the way that you move around. Okay. Um. Uh, he's going to be by the lamp post. That one. <laughs> Oh, it's ten people. It's quite a lot to move, isn't it? It is. Don't worry, they'll go pretty quickly once you find the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it does play very much like the uh, first XCOM in uh, that you know reserving shots and things like that. Hmm. But um, and it's equally as deadly combat. Oh, did you remember to bring any first aid kits? That was under gener generic supplies. No. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to be fine then, aren't we? <laughs> Absolutely fine. Everyone line up, chaps. <laughs> line up the enemy. <laughs> Just and have a nice hot cup of tea. That'll make us all better. <laughs> That's right. It? And you'll also find out that Johnny Enemy doesn't do things like wear red coats so you can see them clearly on the battlefield. Well, they're not going to be disguised as trees, are they? Well, you know, they've got like... Oh, the ones I thought were wearing green jackets. Like it's oh. a green background, honestly. Like it's like they camouflage. don't. Yeah, like they don't want to be shot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay. there's six factions, and um, there's uh, two campaigns you can play, mm -hmm. which which come with the game as it is. Um, you don't actually get to play the. There you go, enemy phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll be moving around the battlefield. You don't actually get to play, but... Uh, the campaigns is part of the demo. Right, yeah. But, um, Fair enough. No. I'll show you some pictures, okay. <laughs> just quickly. If you can see, it's sort of a hex-based uh, grid uh -huh. that everything's played out on. And the models on it are lovely. Oh, right. Uh, and it's a shame that we didn't get to really see that as part, <laughs> part of this, because you don't really get a, a view of the sort of overall picture of the game. Oh, right. This you only get a very small portion of gameplay in the demo. Yeah. But this is a, you know, I, I enjoy this very much. I think if you look around on the battlefield. If I can there, remember yeah, how to. Uh, remember to look Hello around. Hello there, chappy. It looks lovely, mm. doesn't it? He's something sprouting out of his chin. <laughs> yeah, shave him. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, all the trees and the landscape and the sky. And you think this is one person's work. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually, isn't it? It is. I was, I was well impressed. Oh, yeah. So I remember to click on the move button. But they did things like, uh, because it's got uh, enemy AI and they've got different combat tactics mm -hmm. and all of this sort of thing, the placement and how they behave and your campaign objectives in each of the battles, that it's all randomised, so it's different every time you play, yeah, right. which I also like. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you don't know what to expect. But when I was fighting them, they broke off and there were a group of marksmen just hiding up in the trees, just taking me down <laughs> like that, as my men were just, just trying to sort of run around panicking. Well, hopefully we'll be uh, we'll do a bit better. Yeah, your recce, I think, maybe can move a bit further or see a bit further. I'm not sure. All right. Obviously, that's the safest way to play, is to mm. send them out on their own. Yeah, but I'm not exactly a military tactician, <laughs> is it? Another thing that you'll find, or I found when I was playing, is the, um, like the bushes, which mm -hmm. you can use for cover and trees and things like that. And it will sort of stop hits and things. Oh, right. But if you get in really close, um, they obscure your vision quite a bit sometimes. Oh, right. And it would be nice if they disappeared, you know, when you're spinning around behind. Oh, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean, yeah. I think that's the only thing I really had difficulty with. Oh, and the fact that I couldn't spot them. Because <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> I have to wait until the bullets start flying. That's not a problem with the game, though, is No, no, it? no. That's a problem with me. Absolutely me. Okay, let's see that, that turn. Let's see if they find you. Hidden movement. <laughs> but where? That's it. Can you identify the little tree that they're clearly creeping up behind? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's it. I suppose it would help if you looked around. As well, as you're going along, trying to take in the thing. I guess so. And then you could spot, hey, that's that bush and that tree. 
and chucking a, a grenade or something. <laughs> but mm. I remember the tension that you used to get in in XCOM as well, where you'd see the buildings and it's like, <gasps> I don't know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> I know the aliens are around there somewhere. <laughs> but... uh -huh. Okay, then. Do you think this plays too slowly? Or... Um, I don't know. No, probably not. I mean, it's because there's ten people. Yeah. It's quite a lot to, uh, you know, to get through a turn. <gasps> oh! Something shot on me. <laughs> Quick, get over to that bush and out of the way. No way he's going to have that amount of... Oh, no. <laughs> Which direction did it come from? Do you remember? Uh, down the road a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I saw. Are starting now. Let's see if How I have they got so far and you haven't? I think it's always worth reserving a shot, don't you? Yeah, I think it's on, isn't it? Always used to be. It's on. If it's yeah, no, no, I know. Oh right, yes, I think so, possibly. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how well your man men cope with the battle. <laughs> I think there was a courage stat as well, isn't there? Which is always a. Well, there's moral fibre there. Ah, that's the probably stats. it then. That will probably go it. down as people die. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and the stats do improve. If they survive battles, you will get improved soldiers. Oh, right, so you keep the so same group of soldiers. Yeah, you, oh, yeah same, and good. I guess you get new recruits. I think you can recruit to oh, fill the empty so. ranks. Because I, I suspect after one battle, I'll probably need ten new recruits. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, looks like I can move quite far. Oh, <gasps> Oh, oh dear. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah. Get behind that bush. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh no. <laughs> they're quite far away if they're having trouble. Oh, oh no. There's at least, <laughs> what is that, three of them? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How's your moral fibre holding up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I spotted some enemy movement. Oh, did he get shot then? Under five, it says. He made a noise, didn't he? Yeah. Like he'd been shot. And he spotted the end of movement. Oh. Oh, oh. oh there we go. <laughs> oh, I shot him in the shoulder. <laughs> Let's see how your men hold up <laughs> to this sort of thing. Oh. oh. He'd be right. He's got like a white hat on. <laughs> Is that his armour? Is that the one wearing the armour? I guess so. <laughs> like a pith helmet, I guess. Yeah. That will protect you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Your turn. So. Can you see anybody? I was going to have a look through the people. How would I know? Would it Would it say? No, you'd be able to spot them. There'd be figures there. I could. I had tr real trouble spotting them. I don't know. This is like, I don't know. Just like, walk towards the enemy. That's the, <laughs> the British Empire way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only if they're not armed, though. <laughs> Everyone, shoulder to shoulder. March forward. <laughs> Ooh, he's a bit out in the open, isn't he? Where's he? Behind a bush he went, didn't he? Ducked around. Oh, moral fibre 53. What's he got? A petard? A petard, yeah, that's that. Maybe it gets rid of mines or something. Oh, yeah, that could be. Could I don't be know where he that. is in relation to everyone else. He's just the other side of the bush. The road's to the left of the bush. Okay. But he might have to walk right the way around the field. I don't know if he can go through them. He's having trouble with uh, getting through the bushes. Yeah, he'll have to find a gap through. Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll just check if there's anyone. D so everyone's over there. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you see, it's not a bad idea. You could split your troops into three at the yeah. beginning and spread out and hopefully everyone would survive a bit more. Yeah, maybe. Or they'd just pick you off individually. <laughs> <laughs> I think Which is what happened up. to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think probably we're going to get shot up before I can. <laughs> Are they too far away? No. Oh. Oh. Did you get anyone? Uh, it didn't say. No, okay. Sometimes you can hear them scream <laughs> when you <laughs> shoot them. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a long shot, really. <laughs> Where is he then? Ah. Oh, is it five out of eight? Have you lost two people? Did two people get shot? Oh. Uh, Where did that come from? Oh! Oh, <laughs> well, they've got them as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're equally equipped with your enemy. Is that I a think person they, there? I think there is a variety in the equipment. I'm not sure if that changes by faction. Was it someone? I don't know. 
shoot it a bit more. <laughs> oh, you got him! <laughs> they are Sergeant triggered. Max Devon, was that one of yours? Uh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was he wearing a red jacket? I, it, I didn't see it as a red jacket. <laughs> I, th um, I think perhaps we just gone five the... has gone to naught there. <laughs> uh, we just gone to the next person. <laughs> oh, they're out. Okay, so that's the end of the turn. That wasn't as as planned. <laughs> oh, well, he didn't die. We'd right, have a med kit. Yeah, it goes out of action then. That's what the numbers are. Because two yeah. of yours are down, weren't they? <laughs> I can't believe I shot one of my own people in the back. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a close one. Is that one of them ahead there? And then, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? You can get him. Oh, they've all shooting at him. Changes uh, nickname to Lucky <laughs> yeah. after this one. Well, let's see if he gets through the next turn. Without being shot by somebody else. Well, they're not shooting at me. Only the one, though. Oh. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Someone behind that tree. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> somebody over there. Skimmed your hat. Oh. <laughs> well, this is going well. <laughs> so I managed to get one of them, didn't I? Oh, no, no, that, that was one of mine, wasn't it? What's he it? done? He's bolted. He's, he's, he's running, running away. <laughs> <laughs> he's panicking. He's stuck on a hill. He doesn't know <laughs> what to do with himself. <laughs> so again, the stats do count in battle. When people start <laughs> falling over, oh, he's oh, gone as well. Come back, Gunny. <laughs> <laughs> he was your chance for victory. Yeah, it's a big gun. Look at him, he can't cope at all. It's <laughs> a moustache weighing him down. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's gone lost berserk. It. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, well. Anyway, I think <laughs> we can probably, you can see the kind of thing that happens. Yeah. When you're out there, you can try and take one down. Yeah. Get him. I'm sure there was one behind this tree. What, <laughs> right behind it? There was one further ahead, isn't there? Which, standing in front of the bushes. One there, to Is the there? right, and two there. Get them all, get them all. I'll never get them. <laughs> oh, oh, you got him! <laughs> <laughs> Score! Oh, shoot. He's a marksman, isn't he? Mm. Five of you left. Five out of ten. That's it, isn't it? Yep. I've only got... That's it. I suppose them crazy ones are... Might come, come back. back. Yeah. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. oh. <laughs> the poppies. Oh, then the we fled. When oh. I was shooting up. <laughs> you shot one dead right next to him, didn't he? Yeah, so, right. yeah, the same thing happens to them. Can you get uh, just wounded in this then? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, the people who were lying on the floor, if you had a med kit, you could have got them back oh. up again. <laughs> 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 he ain't getting up from that, is he? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, can he get, like, wounded and not be sort of incapacitated? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. I think so. I think one of your men went, ooh, like that, like he'd been shot, but oh, hadn't right, been. Yeah. yeah, maybe. And so it might take down their moral fibre or whatever. They might make them panic more. Uh-huh. But anyway, yes. <laughs> oh. What do you think, then? Impressions? Uh, yeah, I quite like it, actually. I, mean, I miss this kind of tense, sort of creeping gunplay in games. Yeah, yeah I, I think uh, if I was a bit more, f uh, a little bit more familiar with the uh, how the game goes. Yeah, but it seemed pretty easy to pick up, really. And I like the steampunk sort of imperial background. Yeah, behind it all, and the I, I really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be hearing in that ear again. <laughs> no. Um, I'd really love to see how that plays out as well because it looks really interesting. Mm. Um, and I think, again, it's turn-based. So they'll be moving on the hexes and you move on the hexes. And then when you move together, you'll get this kind of battlefield. Has he gone berserk? That one? Yeah. This kind of battlefield um, sort of events occur. Yeah. Um, but the look of it, the sound? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, the music's a little bit short for the loop, but um, but it's okay. But considering the length of time as well for each of the battles. Yeah. Yeah. And sound effects seem fine. I mean, it looks all quite nice as well. Yeah, it I, does. I quite like it all uh, overall. That's it, one person on their own. <laughs> Make this sort of thing. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. <laughs> it's uh, 12 99 from the website and Zura okay. for this. Uh, again, because we can't judge the whole gameplay, it, you know. Um, this seems small for that, but um, there's a bigger game. Yeah. That's what you've got to keep in mind is that there's a bigger game behind it. Um, uh, so should everyone go and vote for it? Well, it seems like um, it seems like a good game. It does. I mean, I th- if th- if I there's more to it, like you say, a sort of more uh, overall strategic thing happening, then yeah, that sounds pretty good. And uh, you like the kind of way it plays out on the battlefield, and I found it difficult to spot the enemy. Yeah, I must be fair. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, it, it it seemed that um, the sort of learning curve, so to say, was was uh, p- pretty shallow. So you, you, you yeah, know, you, you yeah. pick it up pretty much right away yeah that's it and once you become more familiar with the weapons and i'm sure there's a greater you know much greater range of weapons and things available and again your soldiers if they survive (laughs) get improved as well so this chap here (laughs) hello there oh look at his eyes give him some pupils explosion (laughs) (laughs) he's blind okay so um it's a great game looks like it'll be incredibly yeah. fun to play and you know lots of hours to be lost in it i think mm-hmm. so yeah go go vote for it in green light yeah. and let's let's see this out there for the masses thrashing defeat <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah go and vote for it it seems seems like there's quite a lot there it That'd does quite cool yeah it looks like a big fun fun game to play okay <laughs> okay i'm go with rama i'm zaka and we're me some pie we've got other videos up yeah. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, Morisopolis, our sci-fi Minecraft. Oh, machines! <laughs> we've got the Unheroics, our D&D online series. Yeah. Uh, and other Greenlighters, where we're trying to, you know, get the great games that have been strangely left behind. This one's been up there since uh, 19th September last year. <laughs> For some reason, not gone through, and I don't know why. Oh, yeah. And who's it by again? Uh, it's by Yorkshire Rifles. All right. Steve Yorkshire. Oh, the the YR logo there, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go vote for this. Um, and good luck to them. Yeah. Him. Good luck to him <laughs> on his own. <laughs> okay. okay. See you later. Bye.